How many of you, when you pray for each other, and then you feel the presence of God? When someone lay hand on you, and then you feel the presence of God, the work of God, please raise your hand. Now you see, everyone has experienced the work of God. So you see that you can carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit, right? The more you pray, and the more you gather like this, in a circle, and love God. So in your meetings, if you want to, at the end, you can do this. And then, love one another, and you know, and love God, and thank you, Lord, for your love, and thank you, Lord, you're so wonderful, and, and declare the love of God. And then you can have the presence of God. And then now, do you feel uplifted, yes. strengthened, yes. and a motivation? Yes. So we need that strength every day. So some of you live close to each other, can gather in a house and pray together, and then invite your friends to come and then pray for them. So this way, you help them experience the Holy Spirit, and then you ask them what they've experienced, and they said, peace and love and joy and freedom. And then you say, this is what Jesus said, peace I give to you, and then the joy of the Lord is upon you, and also, all you who are weary and burdened, come to me and I'll set you free, give you, you know, give you rest. So here we see that it's happening, right? So you use that for evangelism. So you practice first among yourself. You practice among yourself. And then you go out and pray for other people and then invite them to your homes or invite them to the church. And so that's something that will be very helpful to outreach. Now, when you pray for people, I want you to pay attention to certain things. You can learn to be open to the Holy Spirit at the same time your head is not shaking when you pray for people. Now, if it's, he, people here is fine because they understand that. But if you go out and do evangelism, do not have your head shaking. <laughs> and then people will be afraid. You can control the external manifestation while inside you, you love God. Now for me, anytime I, I can have the joy coming out, I think of Jesus as a joy, <laughs> I will keep coming. <laughs> but I can always hold it back. At the same time, I'm inside me the joy of the Lord. So that's something for you to practice. Then you separate the manifestation and the internal hunger for God. At the same time, you hunger for God. But at the same time, you hold back the manifestation. So when you pray for people, now, someone come here, I'll demonstrate. Anyone? Anyone come here? Anyone? Anyone? One person? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Now. Now here. Okay. Please close your eyes. I have someone stand behind me. Someone stand behind me. Now. I. Hunger for God. Now, this is something you can practice without laying on of hands. You hunger for God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. So that's one way you do it. Without laying on of hands. That you hunger for God. It's like your spirit flying to God. It's something you can practice with your friends to come to the church or go to your home. You reach out your heart to God. Oh, it's like your spirit go to God. It's like your spirit ascend to God. Oh, hallelujah. Okay? That's one practice. Another practice, you touch, but at the same time, your heart reach out to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And say very simple words. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. See? My hand is not shaking. Now, if I let go, I can be all shaking over. But I don't want to do that. And just think of Jesus blessing me right here. Jesus is in front of me right here. Thank you, Jesus. Bless her. Lord Jesus, bless her. Lord Jesus, bless her. Oh. So at the same time, I'm not having any manifestation. I can have joy anytime, but I 
When I pray for people outside, here is okay. Everyone accepts the work of the Holy Spirit, then it's okay. But on out, when you go outside, then you be very quiet. And you don't have to say a lot. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus. You're right here. We worship you. We love you, Lord. You don't have to say a lot of words. When you're talking to too many words that is too busy and it makes the person's mind too busy. You just help the person to think of Jesus. Jesus is right here. Jesus is blessing us right now. We reach our heart to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So what I'm saying is, you can use this for evangelism and also to raise up the spiritual life of people. If there are some Christians and you pray for them, they experience the work of God, and then you ask them what they have experienced. They say, wow, peace and joy and love. And then you say, God is so wonderful. And then you can be used by God to pray for other people and bless other people. Do you want to be used by God? And then if he says yes, then you can tell him, tell him or her how to be filled with the Holy Spirit and how to pray for people. And so raise people up to be serving God. So this is one thing everyone can do. Now, not everyone can teach. But everyone can lay hands on people to experience the Holy Spirit. And then you encourage them and then bring them to church. And also, first, you want to strengthen everyone here. If there are some people who are affected by anything, affected by people, affected by family, I'll, I'll help them so that they are stronger in the Lord. So strengthen everyone here and that everyone have the zeal to love the Lord. And then you go out and reach out to people. Okay, do you want to do that? Do you believe you can do it? Yes, yes you can do it.